uh, hi everyone and welcome back so we will take a look on one more example and we should be good rest you can actually explore what all different ways to write a clean code in javascript okay so you can see that i have written the error handlers and there are a lot of uh, there are there is simply a static method and doing a lot of conditional checks right so first of first of all to write the clean code obviously i will try to remove this nested too much checking of if else and i will just convert it to, into a switch and then there are other operations like toaster right uh, toaster messages are there for all these different error codes so let's try to write it in just a different way here we have a class so we can copy it from here and in this class what we are doing is we have one method static handle error and what we are doing is we are getting error and in this we are just we can do is switch error dot status code rest is just a switch block switch expression which we can just copy and paste so for all these different error codes we can have these error codes available okay now what we can do is we can actually divide these toaster messages into respective functions we don't need to just write all these things in a one code so this is a handle error now rest all the responsibility of showing the toaster for different kind of error codes can be different methods based on that we can also customize okay 404 we want to call it different with some uh, some uh, different color different status unauthorized 401 403 and 500 200 we wanted to show it in the different ways so those can be deal those can be written in a separate function so this can be this can be written in this way and this looks more clean because we are not doing nested checks switch block will directly go to that method and we will directly toast that message and separate method is written for it next thing is we are going to talk is little generic which is talking about best practices to write uh, javascript modules so javascript modules can be written in common js es6 umd amd I, I will just talk about es6 modules like how you should export things whatever you are whatever you are writing in a particular file so most of the time what we do is uh, i mean not what we do is we may end up doing is we are writing a class we are writing methods and we do the default export the disadvantage of default exports are many because if you are writing a simple class and writing a lot of methods inside it and then you are doing a default export that means you are exporting everything together instead of that if you are just trying to do it as a named named export which is nothing but export class so while you are importing then you will actually get the typescript support which will help you to import this so if you are writing it as a default export then you have to write you can write simply like import uh, greeter from a file name which can be app okay if you are doing a named export the only difference which will make is you have to wrap it inside these braces and typescript has a support it will auto populate for you and it will help you now this is not just about class there can be a separate separate functions which you are exporting like export function and there are many methods available inside this there are many ways to do the named export like you have written hello one hello two and here i can choose what which method i wanted to import right similarly you actually you can write uh, multiple functions and then at the end you can actually decide what all you wanted to export so at the end you can actually decide exports i think it's export hello and hello one and hello two something like this and in the another file it will provide a typescript support to choose you one of it hello one hello two so you are getting an advantage of doing a selective export from a file and then selective import into another file 
and whenever you are actually exporting things you should not be doing anything that is just to write the clean code like I'm exporting hello and instead of that I'm also end up doing a lot of other things I mean json dot par some const data I have and then I'm exporting it so we should not be doing anything it should be straightforward whatever is exportable just put it and we are exporting that directly okay so avoid long names that is another thing is whenever you are importing or exporting you should not be doing a lot of dash 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 I mean your code looks full of these dot dots and forward slash you should either do a relative path in that case you can actually you should be able to do something like this so you should not get into a trouble of doing too much back and forth in these different folders okay there may be many but these are some of uh, the, the advantage of using the named export instead of uh, default export in ES6 and whenever we are writing uh, the common JS modules which is like in Node.js we moreover do like when we actually want to require we simply do require this is a core module of Node.js and you don't need to do you don't need to install anything but like in the same case if you are writing your own module then there are some kind of module pattern uh, structure of code which you can follow like uh, I am writing function hello and if I wanted to export it then what I do is module.exports so this is a simple entity I have just a function hello here right but what if I, I do have a lot of other things also in this particular file then you will be just exporting it in a little different fashion right so choose the named export like this don't export all these things if you are writing a multiple functions then you can decide what all functions you wanted to export and then while I'm doing a require I can choose okay I want to access hello one require is like app okay hello hello one or whatever it is this is there are different ways of doing it and whenever you are writing a function always try to reveal something I mean you can actually follow the revealing pattern in JavaScript which talks about say hi okay let's say this is my one of the function and function say hello this is my another function and what this function is returning is I mean you can hide the implementation I can actually point it to say hello okay in that case what I'm doing is I'm exporting only one function say hello and that is also now hidden because if I'm exporting this hello one then while requiring it so here I will require it in another file then I would be able to access only greetings I mean the say hello method is not exposed outside but you can call it it's just like hiding the underlying implementation whatever it is done this is called a revealing module pattern similarly there is another way is like uh, you can actually write a ify block ify expression for your common js modules also which is nothing but wrapping your code inside a self invoking expression here you can write your functions and all these things and you can export things from here okay now let's talk about these uh, different module patterns which you can write in the common js I mean just a way of structuring your module for common JS. We will take a look in, in next video.